Hi, it's Brady. It's World Series time for those baseball fans out there like me. Unfortunately, our Mariners didn't make it, but there are two all-star filled teams that did, the Dodgers and the Yankees. It's been fun to see players being highlighted to learn more about them and their individual stories. It's also interesting to watch players being interviewed have similar responses to when reporters ask what it's like playing for a championship. They say, I've dreamed of playing in a World Series since I was little, or this fulfills a dream I've had since playing backyard baseball as a young boy. What about you? Have you ever dreamed or wanted to look in the future? Ever wanted to fast forward to a future date? How about move from one season to another better season? Daniel's dream in chapter seven wasn't as dreamy as the baseball players' experiences. It was filled with a beast-like lion, a bear, a leopard, and a boastful super beast with iron teeth and horns. Daniel saw God, also called Ancient of Days, slay the super beast and subdue the remaining three beasts. Jesus was foretold and given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshiped him, his dominion being everlasting. Daniel was left troubled, disturbed, and unsure how to process this dream. An angel had to help him understand what he had seen. Daniel 7 isn't the easiest to understand with beast power struggles and events we've never experienced as it's read. But God meant for Daniel 7 to comfort his people through Daniel in exile 2,500 years ago. Despite your present circumstances and regardless of appearances, God is in control. He's all powerful and his son and kingdom are eternal. He will humble and destroy all human kingdoms in his time and give the everlasting kingdom to his son and his people with him. So how can we use this passage today? As we discussed in the beginning, childhood dreams may come true for some, like the World Series players. However, only one team wins and there are 28 other teams that didn't make it this season. Daniel's dream is for all of us, all of us who choose to be on Jesus's team and we can have comfort because we know what team wins. Another way we can use this passage is to have patience, to appreciate the time we've been given. Psalm 118.24, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Lastly, faithfulness to know that whatever the rise and fall of kings and kingdoms around us, Jesus has the ultimate authority in his time. 2 Peter 3, 8, 9. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Thank you for listening.